shit. I would get fucked up. I would get down, down bad. I had to tighten the fuck up, but I'm here for the crown, 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 crown. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Cuss by Silk Radio. You know, it's your boy Silk. That was Mayberry clearing her throat. Why you gotta put know. all my business out there? You know, I'm, I'm special. My mother always told me I was special. I don't know if it was special a bad needs. way. Yeah, I think sometimes special needs. They told me they put me in the ceiling fan before, though. I swear to God, that's a real story. <laughs> hey, you flew off and yo, hit the wall. Hey, yo. It's a real story. I could call my mother that up right now. That explains it all. It's real. But uh, Miss Mayberry, talk to me. What we got over there? What's going on? All right, so of course we got a, a topic, and you would want to get me started with this BS. Yep. So. Ladies, what could men do better to gain your trust? Hmm. Do we really want to open up that can of worms? Yeah. Um, yeah. You don't like that? I mean, so all right, I got a, I got a lady in here, a beautiful lady, I might say. Thank you, thank you, girl. Me too. So, what you think, girl? What can men do better? You ain't got to shove it all in her face like that. I know, right? <laughs> What Don't y'all get all happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was trying to get TT lift closer to the mic. Just saying. I, 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 y'all should have just went ahead with the crickets. <laughs> that one, for real. Because y'all so got so hear, quiet. Yo. You can hear a pin drop even with this music <laughs> bumping in my ear. All right. Okay. So what can men do better to gain our trust? Me personally, I know once my trust is fucked up with you, it's really nothing you can do. Because like, I've been in situations where some stuff that happened and then you try to gain I've tried to gain so much trust back but it just didn't work like I guess I'm an all or nothing type of person so, so if he cheat is old if, if he lie what out, if he lie like if it's I a regular out, lie a lie is different than if it's that, it depends. cause trust trust it don't gotta always be cheating right. when it come to trust I agree so the, it depends on the lie um because I feel like everybody lies you be lying so what if it's something they could come back from? <laughs> like, if it's uh, if, if it's something that they can come back from, like, what what is, what is your expectation of them now? What are you expecting them to do to, to rebuild? Stop lying. But I just feel like once you start it, you just can't stop. If you're like a liar liar, <laughs> I just feel like Pants once you start, you can't Did you stop. And I'm just always going to think you're lying. So I'm like always going to be on guard just feeling like, you're possibly lying. So for me, it's hard to gain my trust back because nobody has, has ever done it before. I'm going to say this. In my 20s, this probably would have been a different conversation. Dang, why am I putting that out there? Mm. Crazy. In my earlier years, <laughs> <laughs> I would this would have been a different conversation. I think now... Um, if you're in a marriage, it's a different approach. They, you can easily throw and walk away from certain situations when you have less responsibility, less obligations. I think the older you get, your perspective changes. Um, but as far as females gaining a man's trust, I mean, or well, trusting your dude, I don't really know. I think it really depends on the female. I really think it depends on how a female processes a situation that her dude put her in. So let's say if you had a, if he cheated, and I mean, it was just a cheat, but he cheated and was raw dogging and had a popcorn kid. Oh, no. I'm just saying, can you really come back from that? You see how you no. scratch no, your head? No, can't. Can. All right, now if if. Some, so I think it depends can. on the situation, it so, depends on the scenario, it depends on the female and how she processes it. Because an insecure female, that really, that's her own, that's her bread and butter, that's her situation. Maybe she messing with a ball, a shot call, or whatever we want to call it today, and that's her meal ticket. She might, shorty might stay around and say, all right, I'm gonna deal with this. So, I mean, it all really So depends. she find a, she find a naked picture in your phone, and he be like, oh, I, I ain't, I ain't take there. that picture. J. Ross. <laughs> J. Ross sent that J. picture. J. Ross sent yeah. that picture. Ross I ain't take that picture. picture of that girl. J. Ross sent that, and I don't know how I saved in my photos. You know, I but had a whole caught, conversation with you last week And you put him in his lie. It's easy to catch that lie, though, right? I mean, it's, it, let me, it's easy to forgive that lie. Let me explain something to you. A lot of women already know their dude lying to him before they even lie to him. So Pretty at much. the end of the day, you 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 choosing to entertain it or play with it and stay around. The woman already usually know. Like, your dude coming in there and he's smelling like perfume and y'all think don't nobody know y'all smell like perfume. He work in a barbershop. It's Man, nothing but women whatever. around. And you see how he threw himself into that Jesus scenario? Christ. I'm in the barbershop. I, I hugged one of my current mothers. Like, it happens. 
Okay, but I'm saying. She said, thank you. I said, no problem. Anytime. But why you had to cup your hands like that? Just because that's how you hug. You put your hands on that back. You do that? Yeah, because she, she's a client, so you put it on the, the higher back. I, now, got, I got you. She's something else. You put it in. She put it, you put it where? Right over the hood. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, buddy. Underrated Kev, how you think about this, baby? What you talking about over there? What you think? I mean, I guess for us is what what do we do? What what would we do no, to make it better? Nothing. No, it depends. Like if I so I'd say I'm throw a scenario. Okay. I cheated. Say I cheated. I messed up hundred mm-hmm. percent. I'm out there looking crazy. I'm making you look crazy. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a spend a lot of money. Fuck it. That's what you're gonna do? Yeah, cause I'm cheap as shit. So anyone that know what they're dealing <laughs> with me, they know I relate my love with my money. Okay. And they know if I buy you some if I that buy mean, if I go overboard, yeah. really, I, I really fucked up and I really apologize. Right. Because sure. that's just I don't spend money. So me doing that, that's that's a a gesture of my goodwill. Like I I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to do. We definitely doing a helicopter ride. <laughs> Nigga, I'm spending money, money. I don't I, I feel you. Barbershop, I mean, barbershop, eighteen hours. <laughs> Money through Sunday. I think we gonna get this bag. I think for me, I'd have to, I'd have to make myself uncomfortable, cause uh-huh. I'd have to make myself uncomfortable in terms of doing, like putting myself in positions that I normally wouldn't, so that you see that I'm for real, that I'm really sorry. You know what I mean? Doing stuff I wouldn't normally do. Normally do, correct. Yeah, doing Got stuff you. I normally wouldn't do. Yeah. So that's when them pictures come on social media and shit. Yeah, that's when you the, see a nigga oh start putting his girl on his oh on like Instagram all that stuff. He done fucked up. Oh, that nigga, he's so sorry. Listen, Listen you get the women like, crush like, Wednesdays, that. you let get the, some, all of that. Let me explain you. Let me tell you some real stuff. I don't even want no dude to post me on his page. I don't want nobody even know that I'm talking to you and you talking to me. Social media is just not that place that I'm. That's the I'm not, I, I, with it. Like, I was with somebody. I was engaged. Ain't nobody know nothing. I didn't post nothing. He wasn't on it. He ain't gonna make situation. it on there. <laughs> my business that's is my move. business. No, a lot of people don't move like that though. So I don't know why females want want you to put all their business out there. And then what ended up happening? Let's say somebody know. Dude, yep. and something else, and now your whole situation effed up. It's like, mm-hmm. let me stumble over something that happened. Yeah. I don't want nobody ruining my situation or, off yeah. of some gossip. Oh, he was faithful. Hating ass bitches. Listen, he I was really faithful. He was it. really faithful out here, and a chick just make up a lie. Like, he was DMing Yo, me. It's some spiteful. That's crazy. Listen, it's some spiteful Man, ones out here. And my whole here, thing bro. is if he is DMing you or whatever the case may be, I'm going to. Everything done in the dark come to the light. I just don't believe in that fishing. I don't want my dude as my friend on social media because if somebody just sit there and put fire on something, I got to deal with you acting no, like a whole bitch when I get home. That. Like, who <laughs> that? I don't got time for that either. I don't want nobody asking me who's who liking on my comments. And I don't want to feel like that with my dude because it's some thirsty thought out here every time he. Would you get mad about that though? I don't know. I wouldn't I, care. I don't. I, don't. I can't because you can't control what somebody else You can't what somebody control else what somebody do. else yep. like. Correct, I can't so I control care. other people, but at the end of the day, Day, why would I want to even bring that into my situation? So I feel like my social media and your social media is your private situation and scenario. I ain't about to street stalk. I don't want to be on it. I don't care. Like, I don't care that much. I understand. My 20s, like I said, it would have been a different conversation. I just don't care. Like, if it ain't going to make me money, I don't got time to be worried about what you doing, who you doing. I'm sorry, I just don't. <laughs> that was uh, the voice of Miss Mayberry. <laughs> Miss T.T., more of the story. What's your more of the story? Moral of my story and my scenario? Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going to have to do some more than just, you're going to have to spend Yeah, money, we know money. we got to go to private. We got to go on no, private jet state. No, I'm just saying you got to do some extra. Just for dinner. <laughs> just for dinner. We forgot who he's talking about. We need a private jet for dinner. We got to pick out the Chanel outfit. That might get outfit. me to talk to you. God like, to damn. start talking Jeez. back to you. But That's it? Yeah, but you, you got to, I don't know. It's really hard to gain so much trust back. Just make sure your it's pockets really, deep. really hard. Like she said, Fuck my that. younger just, days, you know like what, when my I nigga? was younger, just stay I with the chicken cheese. Move on. Shit, but now, stupid. Just, just stay with the chicken you cheese on TC, <laughs> bro, bro. You better off, my nigga. You go buy a house with that shit. <laughs> God, buy me a house. Damn. That's how you bring, buy me a property. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking. Come I'm back. Like, I still want to get a property.